Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, first round match between Nelisius and a Kraken, or a Kraken. I've heard people say Kraken, it sounds weird, but there you go. Um, Nolly, of course, getting the sweet money from Noalius for qualifying with Roller Dwarves. Um, that's why it's Noalisius, <laughs> very good. Um, and a pretty nice Dwarf team, which is I guess why they qualified despite carrying a roller, block guard roller. Um, rookies on the bench, loads of guard, loads of mighty ball, Pom, Pom Slayer. Gone guard over Juggernaut, interesting decision. Don't hate it. Move up wrestler to be a sa safety and an edge up by carrier. Lovely, lovely dwarf team apart from the roller. And even the roller is a great player when it's on the field, right? Like it's way better than long beard. It's just not TV efficient. That's the problem. Um, but I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a player. I was going to say, which is why he's getting fouled, but he didn't foul it. He fouled the guy next to it. Uh, so, and we've got a strength of Gao, which is exposed to a blitz, which isn't what I would have done. <laughs> Some would say that's fucking horrendous, um, letting somebody blitz your strength up ghoul, but never mind. Strength up guard ghoul. Block guard mummy, add chuck mighty blow tackler, move and guard, another guard. It's a pretty nice undead team. He's got a wizard, a bribe, and a babe. There's a bribe for Nelisius. Was that a kickoff result? The kickoff is a quick snap. Is this another one where the, the stadium's in effect? Or not? Or did, or did Nelisius just overdog a bribe? I guess we'll never know. I can't see a referee rest area. So I guess Nelisius overdogged a bribe. And then a Kraken just got a bribe as well. Did he not blitz the uh, strength up ghoul? Not what I would have done. But who can say if it was good or bad? Stadium enhancements are back in for CCL, but not for the playoffs. But then the people making the playoffs effed, effed it up and uh, allowed enhancements for the for the first few games. Quite a lot of games actually had enhancements allowed. Does he have a frenzy here? No, he's just going to expose himself and blitz a wrestle. He's going to expose his own player to getting surfed. There's an interesting... Oh my god. Okay, oh, he realised... He realised, wait a minute. <laughs> Stand firm, oh god. Well, Nelisius didn't hit the, uh, didn't hit the gal last turn, but surely will this turn. Millions of guard. Big knockdown, because that, that frees up the Slayer to blitz and free everything up. Nah, okay. Thanks, Stucky. I've I've never had one of my girls blitz and have them survive before, so I just assumed it wasn't. This was terrible from Molly. I mean, terrible's maybe a bit strong, but like, this is very much asking for trouble, isn't it? Having Having that Slayer there is very much asking for either the Slayer or the um, Runner to get served. Not what I would have done, but never mind. Who can say if it was good or bad? And only stunned the gal. Tragedy. It's pretty nice, the uh, Roller dominating the Mummy for the entire drive here. And the undead are in a lot of trouble now, aren't they? Like, this is a really hard match for the undead. Especially when you let him smash the shit out of your strength for guard ghoul. <laughs> Dodge. 
Well, then we've got dice on the ball if we want it. Well, that was why they were banned in the first place, Hortek, because people were like, it's not good for the playoffs. So, then other people were like, but you can just ban them for the playoffs, so why ban them for the playoffs? You know? Why not just ban them for the playoffs? Because, like, it, it's fair enough having them on for the league, because it's fair to have them on the league, but in the playoffs you can know who's got the, the stadiums and everything. It's interesting. I prefer to have them turned off for the playoffs because the people in the playoffs. Oh wow, we just went for the break tackle hit. Okay, not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Gets the power anyway. And that means big, bigger payoff by doing it like this. Because then. Uh, you know, you've got the roll around the ball and everything. And still... Still basing uh, the mummy. Le mummy. Um, yeah, I like... I like... Because, you know, if you have the if you have stadiums banned in the season, like, people can still take the stadiums. They just don't work, which is not what you want for new players, is it? Whereas, you know, people who make the playoffs can understand that they don't work in the playoffs. So it's exactly how I would have done it. Does a wanna? Ah, uh, well. thank you very much. That's lovely. That's lovely, Zygorian. Thank you very much. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Glorious. And. Uh, but not Merry Christmas to this ghoul who's just fucked it and lost the game, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Scumbag jackpot. <laughs> I mean, I can't deny it. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> uh, does a GFI run than a dodge? Which is better? It's probably better to fail the GFI because you're near the ball. God, coming in useful for the uh, Slayer. I do like personally just giving, you know, Mighty Blow, Banging on, Tackle, then Juggernaut. And, you know, using the Blitz and Pile. But, uh, it's certainly fair enough to give them a guard. Can't call somebody wrong for taking guard, can you? Oh wow, uphilling the gal. That's fucking rowdy, that is. Jeebus. Now I can free the ghoul. And if he can... That's just... No. Gets the power there, but there's still this guy stopping him running through. He can just run around this way. He can't hit the ball. Oh, he's going to come in for a one. <laughs> oh god. Well, don't say it's over, but. I don't see a cracking one in this. I don't, I'm not familiar with the name, so, you know, maybe it's the first time in Chalice. Um, you know, obviously, well done qualifying. It's a pretty great undead team for its TV, probably, but um, it's completely overmatched versus this dwarf team, isn't it? And to be fair, you know, the roller is great while it's on the field. It really is great while it's on the field. You can't. No one can dispute that. It's a fucking brilliant player. Like if there was no TVs, if there was no TV involved, and it didn't, or it didn't have secret weapon, then it's brilliant, isn't it? 
Now, when it's on the field, it's a fucking incredible play. Now, just mopping up this half shouldn't get into it much trouble here. Do the dodge just minimise mighty blow hits? Fair enough. The ground doesn't have mighty blow. Yeah, maybe secret weapons should just be like a legal weapon, right? Because they 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 get they sneak them on for the for the first drive, and then they get sent off basically automatic. So secret weapon isn't really a great name for it, is it? It should be like a legal weapon or something. Something like that, to be technically correct. Gonna roll a blitz. Not sure about the roll of blitz here. I feel like I would have rather mighty blow blitz this guy and then roll a foul. The goal. The gowl. Because, you know, him blitzing, okay, it's three dice. But this guy's two dice with mighty, whereas, you know, fouling this guy with dirty play is amazing. Also, it's two SPP stolen from the roller that could have gone to a, uh, a dwarf. I mean, not really. But, you know, I, I really think fouling with him was really... Fouling this guy with dirty play was really strong. And, okay, you, you'll probably get to foul him next turn. But, um... Oh, disgusting, disgusting SPP farming. Yes, I mean, it is, it's still illegal the half that it's on. It's just that, you know, however it's it's come on, it's come on, right? However, whatever fluff you want to make up for how they've got the weapon on is how the weapon has got on. It's kind of stupid that assassins don't have secret weapon, isn't it? Because, you know, you're not allowed knives on a Blood Bowl, in a Blood Bowl game. But yet, they man not only do they manage to sneak the... They actually do have a secret weapon, don't they? Assassins actually do have a secret weapon. And Zara. And there's no room for an actual secret weapon. So there you go, that's a bit stupid. Well, he gets the dodges through, doesn't get the pick up, gives the ball back to him. <laughs> oh god. So now he can blitz the ghoul and uh, block the mummy. And foul this with a death roll. He's oh no, he's got a bribe, that's why he didn't do Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. Okay, he's got a bribe, that's why he didn't foul with the roller, because he's got a bribe. I am a dumbass. Never mind. It was obviously correct not to foul. <laughs> God. God damn it. Yep, I'm like that idiot who wrote Three Musketeers. Absolute dumbass. So yeah, but ha if he didn't have a bribe, he should have fouled that gal. <laughs> but he does, so he shouldn't. There we go, 28 on the blitzer. Nah, nah, definitely not found. He's got the got the bribe right. Got the bribe. With, without the bribe, you foul 100%. But with the bribe, you keep him rolling for the full game. It's insane. It's a good question, Hortek, because they've literally just changed the pre-match in, in Tabletop. So, I've got no idea how, um, how Blood Bowl 3 is going to do it. 
badly. I mean, I would bet on badly. <laughs> so, on, only the overdog can put in extra money, and then the underdog gets the difference. Is how it works now. Like the overdog spends any cash that's added to their CTV, and then the uh, underdog gets the difference. <coughs> Hello, Sata. PI. Glorious. Uh, similar to Liverpool too, yeah. Except the underdog can't put in money of its own in, in Blood Bowl 3 or in Blood Bowl Tabletop. That's good red hair. Hello Sattler as well, I don't know if I said hello Sattler. Hello red hair. One. Five e. Oh, Dimmy's triumphant return, glorious to see. Having a second runner pays off here, not like uh, not like Singolo at all. It's pretty incredible. Somebody commented on it today. He said something like, "Oh, Jimmy, you're the best." <laughs> no. You can be my wingman um, amazing. Ten out of ten. Want more? Glorious. Oh baby, I was, I was tapped out there. Nalicius. <laughs> I am the best, yeah. Hello, oh, Nalicius. <laughs> and, uh... I wouldn't say you're the worst, but... <laughs> Don't watch the VOD of this game. I've never seen such terrible players. No, I'm only joking. Um, it's been... It's been pretty... It's been pretty uneventful match, hasn't it, really? Just a much better team. And, uh better play and it's been pretty one-sided and yep yep I mean greeting from turn two is the correct play like after he's hung out the strength for ghoul for no fucking reason like you have to go after that girl like you just have to it's it's insane to to give up the ghoul and it'd be insane to not chase it as well like there's just so much value even, even if you are ahead which you were it's still like insane not to push for it my opinion. Yeah, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome Nolly viewers. To a Nolly game. There you go. I left the runner down. Yep. Who can say if that was an absolutely horrendous play or not? <laughs> the hilarious thing is that it just doesn't matter in this match. For three years, not even three months, three years. <laughs> Brutal. Is Chigan banning himself for uh for for not banning stadium effects? He should ban himself for three seasons, shouldn't he? Seeing as what he did was way worse than conceding a game that was over. 
I really hope he's going to ban himself for three seasons. Or three years. Whichever. Palong! Yeah. Oh, kills him. There you go. That's why you've got to go for ghouls. Never regen, do they, ghouls? Diced again. Diced again. No, I do. I mean, this is really over, isn't it? No. Uh, Jackpot. <laughs> no offence, Nelissius. But the answer to your question is no, Jackpot. <laughs> we will never see a roller win the cup. No, we might. We might, to be fair. It is possible rollers win the cup. You know, Singolo's team could have had a roller and it wouldn't have made his team much worse, would it? So, you know. The important thing about the Dwarf team is everything except the roller, isn't it? And this is a fine, totally fine min-max Dwarf team. It's got a bit of move and wrestle on the secondary and edge and block on the main. So, it's totally fine. It's a totally fine team. It's a, I mean, it's, it's certainly weak in coaching. Oh my god. And yeah, weak, weak teams as well, yeah. Yep, it's a pretty diabolical, pretty diabolical cup so far. <laughs> Blood Bowl 2 going out with a whimper. <laughs> That's very true, Hotek. <laughs> Hotek's a funny name, isn't it? Do you remember when The Rock sang, sang, <laughs> sang Happy Birthday to Steph McMahon? Does anybody, does anybody remember that? Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon and uh, The Rock. Wouldn't happen these days, but it was very funny. Stacy Keebler, hop baby. The Rock was brilliant, though. Holy shit! Like I can't believe how good the Rock was. And like just the attitude here in general was great, wasn't it? This is a shit turn here, isn't it? Absolute garbage. From Molly. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Get away with it though, because the opponent is uh, not the best and has a crap team. A whole version of you from the past. Brilliant, Red High. Hotek. Well, Hotek. Um, what happened was, The Rock, you know, it was Stephanie McMahon's birthday. So The Rock sang, sang her a birthday song. And he said, Happy birthday to Steph. You're a hoe with big breasts. <laughs> so take the night off from hooking. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Those were the days. <laughs> ah, the old frenzy trap. Love to see it. Glorious. No, I won't Don't give watch in the VOD. Until I'm victorious. Well said, and I will defend. Elf. I will defend. Ah, it's your own man. Don't watch the VOD. Don't watch the VOD. No, great advice. Oh, accept the two. No, oh, they don't accept the two skills. Ring of Hortec. I do remember Ring of Hortec, yeah. I didn't want to say that I remembered your Ring of Hortec. <laughs> People might get the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen anything glorious thank you very much thank you very much Unconcerned Elf staying fantastic for 7 glorious months oh yeah look at this, there's 2 undead left on the field are they going to stop the score? well, stopping the score doesn't matter are they going to count the score in 3 turns? I don't think so but you know, would Elliot say this is over? who knows Lizardmen, wasn't it, Hotek? No, that's Sotek. 
<laughs> Ring of Hotet. Was an outcast priest of Vol. Ah. Oh, yeah, Malekith's armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. I do remember that. Elliot says the damnedest things. Blow him. Oh, I need to make them blow him. Blow him. <laughs> Looks so good. Oh, there's a, a pointless cars. The pointless turn 14 cars, Apo, doesn't work very well. Unbelievable, Jeff. That is a minus AV Troll Slayer in a lost game or a won game. Pointless foul. Fantastic Blood Bowl. Nobody leaves happy. Love to see it. Everything great about Blood Bowl there. There you go. Everything, the classic game of Blood Bowl where nobody leaves happy. L lovely. You can argue, I mean, you can argue a lot of things, but I mean, definitely, Nolly should have played safer here, right? Game's won, so should have, uh, should have, you know, should have been, like, everything should have been. You know, that could have still happened, right? That could have still happened. But you got to play as absolutely safe as possible. What you shouldn't be doing, like, when you're winning 3-0, you shouldn't be fireballing your own gut runners. For example, that's just that's just an example, completely unrelated to anything else. Um, but you know, things like that are just definitely wrong. And so, while I haven't paid any attention to this half, um, you know, like you should be, you should still carry on playing tight, right? To to give away as little as possible, even though you've won. It's easy to take your eye off the ball when you've won, but you have to not take your eye off the ball when you've won, and you have to uh, be very very safe and minimise everything as much as possible. Yes, Lord, that's why I don't play anymore. Hello, Simply a Sensei. Cheers for the raid. Glorious. I'll save up. There you go, easy win for Nolly. Oh god, we've still got a still got another kick off, haven't we? It was, I mean it wasn't really a game even, it was just a massive. Oh, Nolly, seeing you here, did you overdog a did you overdog a bribe, or did it did it use your stadium even though it shouldn't have? Overdogged. Oh yeah, of course, because this is a recent game, isn't it? So of course, of course, they'd fixed it by then. Did you have loads of money? Because this was a pretty easy game, but then obviously, like, Overdog and Bribe does make it pretty much guaranteed, doesn't it? Really nice. The cheeky cars. Diddle's foot. 
So yeah, pretty pretty annoying pair of cards there at the end for Nolly. So well, there you go. Um, easy win in the end for him. Congrats, congrats, Nolly. Commiserations to. I've literally a uh, Kraken. There you go. Commiserations, Kraken. But you know, you know, well done for qualifying. But yeah, I mean, outclassed in terms of team strength and coaching. There really uh, didn't have much of a chance. What can you do? Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.